men have a demeanour and they speak to women in a certain way sometimes, and obviously along the years, I would assume a man at some point has made that mistake with you of not realising, like, this woman could, could eat me alive here. Uh, has that happened? And if so, what did you do? There's a famous there's a famous story, this. Okay. I've said it before, but um, I was working in Subway. I was about... 23 it was a night shift and some girl it was like five in the morning so i'm like still cutting sandwiches like this trying to stay awake mm. and some girls like stumbled in mm-hmm. and then this man's come on come over to him put his arm around her and i was just thinking that's a bit sus that so i went lad what's your name he went who are you the busiest i went no i said well like he was a foreign man and his english wasn't too great and i knew she was like she sounded well, so forth. What what's the connection there? Like, how's that happened? So anyway, me and him ended up having murder, and he he dragged the girl and tried to get the girl out the shop. So me me mate Samir is running to the back. I've run outside to go and get him, and as I've run outside, he's gone to head kick me, and I've laid back and just chopped his leg. But as this has happened. Sorry, before the fight kicked off, he's on the phone and rang back up. So, like, a few cars have bounced into the, to this road. It, this is Ranley Street, so this is, like, central Liverpool. Five o'clock in the morning, beards tweeting, you know, when you come out of the nightclubs and you're like, whoa. <laughs> and um, and all these cars have come out and all these lads are in the cars. But where Samira's running the back, she's rang the busies. And I've come out, had a straightener with this lad. He's fucked off. The busies have come in, locked the shop, trying to take a statement off this girl. Turns out he had put date rape in her drink in a nightclub and then watched her come to Subway. Then um, he was trying to get her in the car and, and human trafficking. Wow. So basically, I've, I've clocked it and caught him and then he got picked up from the busies and then... He was a legal immigrant and he got deported and sent back to wherever he was from. So don't mess with the meatball. Not all heroes wear capes, eh? Unbelievable. They, they wear subway caps. I'm lo- <laughs> Literally, that should have been everywhere, by the way. Like, Well, I so I remember my bo- my coach, not my boxing coach, Ellis Hampson. It was a Saturday morning. And by the time I'd spoke to the busies and done my statements, I wasn't grassing, but I had to give a statement of what happened. He... Um, he what's it called? I had texted him and he was like, Do you need me to come down? Is everything okay? And I was I was like, it's just funny that like that was way, way, way back then still. Do you know what I mean? And um, but because I hadn't even had my first MMA fight, I didn't I didn't even think to say anything about it, to be honest. But it is a funny story. And and I sent him the video so you could see like the camera that would be like on the safe and the till, just just glimpsed outside on the on the glass and you could just see me and this lad like I've got me fucking apron on, a little hat, like fucking gloves, what you make your subway sandwich and slip and throw and come on back. And this lad this lad's gone in pure Jean Claude Van Damme, like like come at me like I was like, whoa, he's throwing head kicks and that. Yeah, if someone's throwing head kicks, he knows something. Like, you know, it wasn't one of those where it's just a random guy. So that, yeah, fair play to you. I watch a lot of crime stuff and the amount of people who don't intervene when they say something. And that's often how people like this girl become a victim is because someone who could have said something or intervened. Because we naturally, people just don't want the hassle. But fair play, like you've literally, you basically saved her life. Like, how does that make you feel knowing that you had such an impact on someone without even? That's amazing. Well, she's fucking, she was a rude bitch. She was so <laughs> pissed out of her head. I was like, "Do you want me to put you in a taxi home, love?" And all that, and she was like, "No," and just got off and got on, the, got a train back to like Wales or somewhere. I was just thinking, you have no fucking clue. What? Yeah. You have no clue. You're just about to be like sent off to Romania or somewhere like yeah. you've got no Albania gone do you that know what it. I mean never seen again I don't think anything into it but it's a funny story When did like, she never get back in touch nothing no because the busiest handled it all I can't believe that like that's but I think she was that embarrassed and freaked out it, look it weighing about me do you know what I mean like she was safe hey. I was fucking tired and just wanted to go to sleep and then had to go to training so all in a day's work for Molly McCann ladies and gentlemen all in a night shift on <laughs> Subway Run Street unbelievable 